Hi, I'm Roger LaCour with Rev Fire Group. I'm our Director of Product Development, and with me is Sam Massa from HiViz. We're going to talk to you today about uh, advanced rung lighting. Uh, it's a feature that we have on the smart reach apparatus that you see behind us. Sam, you want to tell us a little bit about the technology that's uh, involved here? Yeah, so a few years ago, we started playing with some tech that was pixel-based LED products that could be used in, whether it was aerials or we we're trying to figure out where can this tech be applied. And effectively, the core is a bunch of LEDs that can be individually colored with different intensities at any location. And it's almost like having this supercomputer with no software on it. And we had to come up with what the right application was of the tech. So we developed this particular product to be an aerial lighting system and working with you guys, obviously, while you were working on the SmartReach product, developing out the software to control the truck, we, we kind of partnered so that we could manufacture some really cutting edge software that has like unlimited capabilities. But we knew that you guys had the ability to come up with kind of what are those differentiators that we can boil this down and make it not so complex that it's not actually useful for anybody to use in the field. So we started out by thinking, of, of course, about safety, which is the thing that's always at the top of our, of, of our minds. And in, so in this case, what we're using those rung lights for is to be able to alert the operator to certain things that are going on. For instance, when the device starts to move, the rung lights that are normally steady glowing can flicker. When it gets to uh, the end of its travel, it can flash. We can flash it again when we're moving, in this case, with the multi-stance feature, going from a short jack side to a standard side, we can flash again. And so we incorporated the technology that Sam and his company came up with into a real pragmatic approach. It's, it's really interesting, you know, when you look at the fire service as a whole, finding those next cutting edge areas where you can really impact safety and help first responders, our mission is to help them work more safely and effectively after dark. And their mission is, you know, to protect property and save lives. So when you can meld those things together, especially like working with you guys and the capacity that you have to boil down all of the complexities of the truck, the electrical system, the lighting tech that we're building and make something that actually can make a difference, I think that communities around the country are really gonna have something cool to find from it. Yeah, and speaking about communities, so you know, one of the uh, one of the big uh, things that people do with fire trucks is engage with the community, right? And so we were thinking about uh, community events and how can we make this particular technology really really pop out there. So we we've got pre-programmed parade or event uh, modes, if you will, with lots of cool uh, displays. Put this thing up at night and you're going to be able to see it for miles around in some really amazing, amazing things. Sam, you want to tell us about the details of some of those? Yeah, so some of the event modes are things like the rocket ship where you can choose any color and it'll shoot up to the top of the aerial and you know, in a staggering type effect. It's more cool than anything else, but I thought it was particularly unique. You can change to a rainbow or multicolored type arrangement on the aerial if you have some need for that sort of thing. Say, for instance, you had like breast cancer month or something you wanted to turn the aerial pink. You just hit a button and boom, the aerial changes colors. There's a lot of pre-baked functionality that actually makes a difference. I'm trying to climb this aerial. People talk about colors being maybe green. I think you mentioned earlier today we were talking about lighting being useful at night. And there's 12 pre-baked, hit the solid color you want. In addition to all those parade modes that are kind of more fun than they are anything else, but they're also built in. Once we've got that tech on the fire truck, it's just the software that we're playing with to make it do unique things. Sure. And so you've got those built in uh, pre-programmed versions, but we're custom manufacturer. And if you've got something, let's say a particular color for a football team or a high school, and, uh, and you want something programmed with some specific colors and some specific modes, we're uh, more than happy to do that for you as well. 